uh, after five days of its implementation. Now they're adding an additional $2 billion. Since this is such a, such a success, how long will government subsidize this program? And you know what, Bob? I wanted to figure out how much three, how many vehicles does that purchase for three for three billion dollars? Well, you it's have to divide it by forty five hundred dollars a vehicle. It's, it's, it's interesting when you do divide it to see what number pops up. There's a lot of sixes in there, six 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 six. But that's really not a lot of vehicles when you divide well, it among you three dealers. Here's my take on it, and I'm far from a socialist, and I'm not really for this kind of thing. But when I see $23.7 trillion being stolen, given the United Auto Workers and, and all of those suppliers, all that work so that they can stay in business for $3 billion is very, very, very doable. Yeah, I mean, they're doing do it all over the world. The Europeans have been doing it for months. Yeah, but it's not going to do anything. It's going to delay the system. And, and I don't, you know, I know what's coming down. You all do. But at least if it's going to come down, you give the little guy a piece of the action. But we still have to pay for it. Well, yeah, who's going to gonna pay, pay for the twenty-three point seven trillion? Uh, are you are you worried about three billion? Or are you worried about twenty-three point seven trillion? I guess it just doesn't really matter, does it? No, it doesn't. So let's give the little guy something. They got nothing. The bank has stole it all. And I'm glad I got that tape. So I can can I go buy a new car this week? <laughs> Well, if, if they still got that, yeah, they got that money. And what yeah, you do is you bring it. in your clunker, and as long as the new car that you buy gets more mileage than the previous car, then you get another forty-five hundred bucks. So you're paying about probably twenty-three thousand dollars for a new car that costs thirty-three. Yeah, but you know what's funny? I've seen that these dealers are having a headache because they're trying to get their money from the government, and it's like they're putting, you know, people are putting in two, three, four requests, and they're still getting denied. And, uh, you know, it's just another typical, um... Uh, that's a CF, is the word. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way our world is. We're all human beings, and we all make mistakes, and we keep on making the same ones over and over again. Mm -hmm. There's nothing new under the sun that hasn't happened to mankind. I mean, just think about it. We're wearing the same kind of sandals that we, you know, we wore 2,000 years ago. Yeah. That's if you're in a warm climate. Um, there's another question or a comment. Please. I get two of them here. Can I do them, Mistress? No. <laughs> All right. Keep on going, and we'll, I'll save them for Monday. No, go ahead. In over two years, the U.S. dollar drops on the index down from... The 70s down past 60 point, to down to 50 point, and then around to 40. Somewhere along the way, does this mean that shares and Canadian metal stocks get a little added boost in comparative value if the Canadian loony goes up? And the answer is yes. If the Canadian dollar, which is around 92 right now, goes to 180, which I think it could, uh, then you're going to be, if you have to be in cash, you're going to, you know, double your purchasing power that you previously had in U.S. dollars. At the same time, the price of gold will probably go up three or four times. So it's okay to be in Canadian dollars, and it's good, but it's much, much better to be in gold and silver coins and shares. And you people know what my favorites are, and they are mint state, graded, numismatic coins, and the shares. This morning around 11 a.m. Mountain Time, Bloomberg uh, reported the commodities, uh, crude oil down 60 cents and gold also down. Um, at 9.53 an ounce, the twit neither corrected herself nor any other staff during that segment. Um, he has heard the reverse report on gold before. However, he believes it wasn't an accident, but rather a form of repetitive subliminal programming on the casual listener. I agree with you. 
and it's like waking up uh, after you've slept for 15 minutes, and uh, the goal was 9.50, and when you wake up, it was uh, 9.80. It's the same thing. Uh, they're trying to play games with your mind, and they do do those things. I mean, these people are something else. Well, incidentally, that last question came from Bob, and this one's from Joe. Um, can you comment? Is the plunge protection team boosting markets to inflate the president's approval rating? And the answer, of course, is yes. Markets being the stock market and the bond market. Is he sinking like a stone? And will he have a hard time with confidence and with a tanking dollar and market? And, you know, I projected in January a 40 rating for approval in either September or October. And um, we come in with a 45 Rasmussen, and we got a 47 in in the polls that are fixed. So this guy, he's easily going to be in September or October down to 40. And uh, he's just another street hustler. Uh, is a reduction in share prices being caused by the Treasury auctions? Um, they wanted the auctions to go off well. They did not. And they didn't want gold going up, so they arranged with the option holders, which are the commercials, and with them also on the short side of the market, to pound the market, which they did. And when they did it, I said, look, this market's going to turn right around and go back up again, which it did. And this gentleman says he took a large position in one of the stocks, and he says, I'm getting crushed. Well, he isn't getting crushed anymore because they're all back up again. Um, Bob, what do you know about these web bot inquiries? What do you know of Cliff High? Uh, uh, what? What do you know of Cliff High and the web bot program? Is this, informi- is this information legitimate? Yeah, I don't even know what it is. What it is is you have these you know, it's information that's gathered. And I've heard these for years now, and they don't, really don't pan out very well. But where they follow web talk, I guess, or, or web inquiries or web information, and they're supposed to be able to predict certain things happen at any given time based on the increased numbers of these of this web information. That's probably a very poor explanation, but it's... No, I understand what you're saying, and it doesn't work. And I'll tell you, it's the same concept of algorithms. Uh, you know, it's just like having a system and standing at the roulette wheel, and the system tells you that you're supposed to put everything on black, and they spin the ball and it goes on red. Everything is random. You never know when you're going to get a change. You can spin on the roulette wheel 20 times in a row and get red, then get black, and then get 25 reds again. There, there is the, the random has no memory. And so when they use these formulas and these uh, uh, computer programs with the sophisticated stuff that they got, sure, they can, they can be fairly consistent. But the important thing is, in the final analysis, they're all wrong. Over the years, I've had people bring me, you know, the web bot said this, and they're saying, and it's just like they just never pan out. They very rarely ever work. 800-375-4188. Look at the fundamental folks. You know what's going on. You don't have to have a certain date if you're prepared. You get prepared today, and then you watch it unfold, and thank your blessings that you were prepared before it happened. 800-375-4188. We'll be back on Monday. Until then, be safe, good night, and God bless.